Welcome to the Serene Disciple Project at Egret Isle Farm. I'm on my way to the porch. Uh, now, I haven't done many of these videos from the porch, which in the suburban monastic quadrangle uh, represents uh, spiritual conversation and friendship. But in reality, it's the place I probably feel most at home. You want to come with me? All right, come along. Now you may or may not recall that the Serene Disciple Project videos alternate between the deck, representing personal devotion, the shop, representing creative work, the kitchen, representing radical hospitality, and the porch, representing spiritual friendship and conversation. So as these videos become more widely seen, I'm sometimes asked, well, what do you do besides cooking and experimenting with things that you don't really know how to do, like raising chickens and livestock, beekeeping, metalworking and blacksmithing and painting? Well, that's a fair question. Well, for most of my adult life, I've earned my living pretty much doing this, talking. I was on the debate team in high school and college and met Kay, my wife, in cross-examination in a debate round. I spent over 30 years as a pastor, teaching, preaching, leading meetings, providing pastoral counsel and spiritual direction, speaking at retreats of one kind or another, and so on, you know, talking. Concurrently, I spent over 20 years as a teacher, mostly high school science, talking. And I've spent a lot of time right here on this porch, or porches like it, or coffee shops, or pubs, or restaurants, talking to people about their lives, their spouses, and their jobs, and their children, and their hopes, and their dreams, and their fears, and their opinions. Their opinions on absolutely everything. So since one of the reasons I do these videos is to encourage you to spend some time here on the porch, your porch, uh, in conversation, I thought I would take today and share a few magic phrases that I have learned over the years, just between you and me. Uh, so pull up a cup of coffee and sit down. Now, I believe that life is best lived in community, but <laughs> truth is, if you talk to people long enough, you will hear some pretty odd stuff. Early in my pastoral career, people would come and tell me what was going on with them, and I would say, with ecclesiastical calm, let me pray about that, and let's talk again next week. But inside, I was thinking, wow, I didn't even know that problem existed. I have absolutely no clue what to say to you. I better try to stall for a week while I figure this one out. But if you say that out loud, people get really uncomfortable. Trust me on that one. So first uh, key to having great porch conversations is don't say the first thing that pops into your mind. But there are three phrases that you can say that work so well that they're practically magic. <laughs> Here's the first one. Well, that's an interesting point of view. I'd never really considered it that way. Now, a point of view can be interesting for any number of reasons. Maybe it's the stupidest thing you've ever heard, or it so violates common sense that you wonder how that person can function in their daily life. Or maybe it is interesting, but it keeps the conversation going better than saying, you have got to be kidding. That is nuts. That is crazy. You're crazy. It also communicates that what they have just said is, in fact, a point of view. And like all points of view, you change the point, you change the view. It also differentiates what they have said from a statement of objective fact, even if that's what they think it is. Now, the, the fact that you have never once in your life considered the situation in that way is probably true. 
but this phrase allows you to learn more about the person you're in conversation with without creating a sense of defensiveness, even if you disagree with what they're saying. All right, let's try another one. How, how's that working for you? Whew, now that phrase works much better than, what, uh, <laughs> what are you thinking? What, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> this is your plan? Now, in addition to being a little funny, uh, how's that working for you? Invites the other person to do a little self-examination and come to their own conclusion about whether what they're doing is or isn't working for them. And the other thing that it does is that it puts you on the same side of the exploration as the person. You're now partners in exploring what they're doing. And that's a much better place for conversation than being confrontational. All right, let's do one more for today. Uh-huh, so what are you going to do? Again, this works better than... You're toast, man. This can't end well. <laughs> no, you didn't ask, but if I were you, I'd... And so this phrase as well puts you and the other person on the same side, your partners in this exploration of, of what they might do. And if they say, gosh, I don't know, what would you do? Well, now you can offer advice thoughtfully and gently, uh, gently without, uh, without sticking your finger in their face and saying, well, look, here's what I'd do. Much better place for conversation here on the porch. Okay, let's try that out. Government says we should eat vegetables, but I'm going to eat rocks instead. That'll show them. Wow, that is an interesting way to go about things. You know, I had never really considered that. Yeah, stick it to the man. I mean, I've been eating rocks now for a week. A week? Wow. How's that going for you? Well, to be honest, it's kind of giving me a tummy ache all the time. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Wow, that does sound kind of bad. What are you, what are you going to do? I don't know. I think maybe I ought to quit eating rocks. What would you do? Yeah, I think you've got a great idea there. I think you should go with that. See what I mean? Magic phrases. Well, I think that's enough magic for one day. Um, I would love to read your comments below, uh, what, you, what you thought about my magic phrases in today's video, and maybe some magic phrases of your own. Well, I think that's enough. Thank you for joining me here on the porch today. We'll see you later. Oh, one more thing. Uh, speaking of speaking for a living, the Serene Disciple Project will be taking a break next week. Uh, I will be in Tulsa, Oklahoma next week on the campus of Oral Roberts University, climbing another learning curve. Uh, I am taking a degree, a master's degree in professional counseling that is partially online and partially on campus, and next week is a campus week. So I'll see you in two weeks in the shop, and we'll pick that knife back up that we started last week. We'll see you in two weeks.